Adam. It's good to go in live. Fantastic. Uh, how are you doing, man? Nice to see you again. Thank you for joining us again on the double shot. Um, um, yeah, it's uh, it's always good to chat to you. And uh, obviously today, a big conversation we're excited to talk to you about is your early access with Instagram Reels, man. How, is it is it as exciting as everyone's making it out to be? Um, I, I mean, it's a difficult one. Let's let's be honest. It's um, yeah. It's let's let's address the the elephant in the room if you like um it's a complete um clone of tiktok so, um, <laughs> on the instagram app um so yeah. we've had some fun playing around with it and i think you know as sort of like social media marketeers with any new feature or any new platform or any new update release we're always sort of all over it so um, we've had a play around with it and it's very very similar um like you said, we, we had early access to sort of populate the app with content before it went live. So what Instagram do there is they choose um, sort of like a load of partners and they'll say, we'll give you early access to play around with the, the app, uh, the new feature and um, start populating the, the app with content, but only you can see it. And mm. so that when they pull the trigger on it going live, you've already got a load of content within the Reels yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Explore page. So. Um, it's 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 exactly the same. You know, you've got the same features. You've got your speed, your effects, your timer. You've got music. So, uh, and a lot of the effects are very similar to TikTok. Uh, you've got like the green screen effects and and, and all that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, it's it's a it's a funny one. But Instagram have done this before, haven't they? With um, they've done it with Snapchat, where they released Instagram Stories. That was a success. Um, they've done IGTV, which some people say it was kind of a rival to YouTube. Definitely didn't get anywhere near rivaling YouTube, but I think still has success. Um, yeah. We see success through IGTV, but um, we've had a play around and, and yeah, it's, it's fun, but is it going to be able to replicate, I don't know, the, the culture that TikTok has? I don't know, but there's a lot of things to talk about, isn't there? You know, look at politically where yeah. TikTok is. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's funny. It's funny you say politically. I've got on, on my questions there. I've got actually one of the questions is politics, but I mean I think um, so. Look, there's a lot to unpack there. Obviously, just in terms of what you, you brought up briefly, but um, starting at the at sort of at the beginning. So so that that tells us a lot immediately straight off the bat is that it's very similar. It's basically a rip off. We we knew that, and as you say that, that think, um, Facebook's done it before, and they you know, it's not like they won't do it again. And we had this interesting conversation that Paul Zuckerberg was having last week. With, um, in front of Congress, saying, "Hey, why do you rip everybody off?" You know, it's, 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 I suppose it's the nature of the beast. It's what we do. But um, what, what um, is so? There's no new functionality that you think we should know about that people should keep in mind. It's pretty much, it's, it's pretty much like for like, yeah. Um, okay. Like I say, we've had, we've had a good play around with it. I, I think that they're all, they're already set up with the music library, which is great. Um, so that you know they've hit the ground running with that, but. Mm. Um, one thing that we was looking at before was it almost looked like you didn't really have the chance to go viral via reels like you do on TikTok. So as you know, on TikTok, it doesn't matter if you've got five followers or 5,000 or 5 million followers, you've always got that chance to go viral. Right. Um, so we didn't think you had that on reels, but I've noticed this morning that actually you've got a um, almost like a featured. So if you start scrolling, once you go into reels on the explore page and you're in the feed, Similar to TikTok, you can just scroll through the videos. Well, it'll just, before it was just people you followed, but now they've got featured. So it might be one that's getting really good engagement and looks like it's really popular and it gives you the opportunity to then follow that person. So it kind of looks like they're, you know, that they're addressing the issues as they go daily. Right, right. Mm. It's sort of an aggregator, like a Reddit kind of popularity rises. And as you say, it's a person with 300 followers can go, can get a bit of traction and get some, some attention. Exactly, yeah, because that was one of the worries that people sort of were, were saying um, prior to its launch was how are you going to be able to go viral via Reels? Because Instagram, right. it's already well established, isn't it? It's not, it's not easy to go viral. On right. Instagram, you have to build a following over time. TikTok, you can almost, you can get that viral aspect overnight. Um, like the good old days. Yeah. <laughs> when you, yeah, you got you kind of struck lightning. Yeah. So, um, so 
that's that's um, obviously. Uh, uh, I, th I think that's really important because I think you know obviously one of the big things we know about TikTok is, in in the general social media world, the digital marketing world, is TikTok's kind of the place where these up and comers or nobodies, kind of like the days of Vine, these nobodies all of a sudden had 10 million followers, 17 year olds or 10 million followers. So and and Instagram is very, as you say, is very much pegged to the amount of followers you currently have. You put a few hashtags and maybe you get a bit of attention, but for the most part, it's your 500, 1,000, 2,000 followers who, who are going to get to see your stuff. Um, so, so that's I suppose is pretty pretty promising from a from a brand perspective because it, it means that good content. I'm assuming that the idea with content, your advice in terms of content would be um, just as Facebook is sort of ripped off TikTok is content wise we're going to see do you reckon we'll see the same kind of content that we see on TikTok yeah I think you will um, and I think you see a lot of people that would just post content onto reels that doesn't really fit with it so the whole the whole reason TikTok worked was because it gave you a number of creative tools uh, that were really like simplified and easy to use. So if you think about Instagram, you've got your Instagram feed, you've got your videos, you've got your your, um, your photos within the feed, and then store, stories allowed you to be that little bit more creative, but it wasn't nowhere near what TikTok allows you to do. So, so now they're doing that, I think you will see a lot of people um, being a lot more creative now they've got the tools to do it. Um, but yeah, it's... Um, who knows I, I, my my advice would be just to get on there and try it because i think yes it might fail it, it might fail fast who knows but yeah. Yeah. like anything that comes out that's new um, instagram will be pushing it through the algorithms so they're going to want this to succeed even at the point where it might not be they're still going to be pushing those reels in front of people so my advice would be just get on there and start creating content that fits with the um, all the mechanisms that it provides Brilliant, brilliant. Um, who and when? So, as I've understood from the reading, it's being rolled out pretty much throughout the world at the moment. Um, it's available immediately? <clears throat> yes, yes. Um, so, I've not actually had, personally, I've not had, actually had the update yet um, to access it through my, through my um, account. Right. But, I've, but, but the, the pages that we run and the communities that we run, we've got access on all of those. Um, so I'm not sure at what point okay. sort of your average Joe like me can can get on there. I've seen some people have got it and some people haven't. So I'm like, maybe it's a maybe it's a software thing. I don't know. Uh, yeah, but they're probably staggering the rollout to, so that their servers don't. Crash. Yeah, yeah. So it's not a mass crash, but I, I mean, think um, over the yeah. next few days or week, it should everyone yeah. should have it. Yeah. yeah. And you've got to bear in mind there's what hundreds of millions of Instagram users who are probably going to want to check it out. Um, Beautiful. Um, just quickly in terms of, we'll talk quickly about some strategy ideas. Maybe you've got some ideas that you can share, but um, if you don't, that's also coming. I know it's very early days. Just in terms of the, the politics side of things, obviously Microsoft, um, TikTok's got a lot of problems going on at the moment. You know, call it what you want to call it. They've got problems. You know, Trump's after them. Um, America's ready to ban them. You're seeing, I think, what you're really seeing from a grassroots perspective, you're seeing a lot of TikTok um, big people on TikTok and small people on TikTok who are um, putting in their, you know, their, their, their posts, hey, please follow me on this alternative platform just in case TikTok this is um, What is your take on that? What do you think is going to happen? I mean, I know it's hard to say, but I mean... It's, it is hard to say. Um, I think looking at the, the ban of it, um, I think that would obviously um, play into Instagram's hands. Um, massively because all of those users they probably would be able to continue creating the type of content they've been creating on TikTok via Reels um, so I just think you'll see you know a few hundred million users just migrate straight into to Reels and start creating that type of content there where does it leave TikTok I don't think I think TikTok is is that big that I can't see it going away or disappearing um, yeah. and I think the problem that Instagram might have is capturing that that really young audience um so you've got like the, yeah. you know a really young audience on tiktok and although that has sort of like sort of spread out now to people from sort of my age and above um ultimately those people are really going to want to go on instagram and post on instagram because there's a reason they're not really active on there now it's because tiktok's where they want to be uh, you know, the mom and dads are on Instagram, so they tend to, yeah. to, to swerve <laughs> it's funny, it. 
we, we used to say the same thing about Facebook. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. When Instagram came out, it's like, oh, that's yeah. for the for the boomers. Let me let's move on to Instagram. That's it. Well, the, the nan and granddads are on Facebook now. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> granddads and family meetups. Yeah. No, I feel you. So, I mean, the obvious one is the obvious move is straight straight away to reels, which I think that, that as you say, is, uh, would be it's a pretty intuitive guess. I think you know. Um, Obvious move would be to reels, but is reels the right audience? And, and are people going to? They obviously one is to just migrate their following immediately across. Um, look, I think you know, for me, the, the the Instagram, the Instagram reels and TikTok question, actually, a lot of it boils down to our behavior and our understanding of culture. And I, when I say we, I mean our age groups, because you know, you just don't see the the, the boomers and the and the, the uh, generation, um, uh, the, the yeah, the baby boom generation, holding phones up to themselves and making goofy videos and and just documenting every single second of their life, which is what I think a lot of these TikTokers and these youngsters are doing. So I agree. I think it would be an interesting one to see. That, does that? Does that translate straight over to Instagram or does it build a whole new audience for Instagram? Maybe you're going to see a whole bunch of people adopting reels and having zero zero to do with actual Instagram or RGTV or Instagram stories. Who knows? Yeah. So it's an interesting one. I think you might get that. I think you might get people being more creative who are already on the app. But from, yeah. from my personal um, point of view, I, I like TikTok and I like going into TikTok as a separate app. I kind of use Instagram yeah. differently. I almost... Instagram um, is kind of almost like a, a vloggy type feel for me. You can sort of do some documentation of your life through stories and you you know, you obviously post some nice things on your feed. Um, but on TikTok, that's where you kind of get a bit silly and creative and it's a completely different experience because it's mm. just so fun and um, vibrant and, and yeah, I think it's a different culture altogether. So who knows, let's see how it plays out. But um, yeah, I, it's a, yeah, I feel it's a bit of a it's a, it's a bit of a, a crappy move, isn't it, by by uh, Mark Zuckerberg? But he's got he's yeah, got what do you he's want? got history, hasn't he? <laughs> he's got uh, <laughs> he's got form for Matt, this type of thing. Yeah, exactly. And you know, the truth is, I mean, having come from a tech background in terms of gadgets, gadgetry, and cars, man, he's he's a small fish in the big in, you know in the big pond yeah. when it comes to ripping people off and. It's been done for for hundreds of years, you know, kind of thing. So yeah, it's it's survival. And you know, it's funny. He'll he'll probably just wear the lawsuits or whatever whatever inevitable problems come with it. Like that's what they do. They've got the money to just wear well, that, it on the chin. That's it. Uh, they released an app a couple of years ago called uh, Lasso, I think, which is pretty Lasso. much uh, uh, yes, Lasso. Pretty much a rip off of TikTok at that point, I think. Yeah. Um, but that didn't. They, I don't think that worked out. But it was it was a test for them. And, and I think yeah. that's helped them probably do what they're doing on Reels now. Yeah, well, I wouldn't be surprised if that was all strategy, you know. Yeah, yeah probably was. Actually launched the thing. Yeah. Um, advice for right now, leaving this conversation, if anybody catches this um, on in the group and, and, and advice that you might give any social media marketers, digital marketers, what can they do right now? What would your advice immediately be? Should they start conversations with their clients? Should they test it out themselves first? If they do, you know, is it... I think so, yeah. I think, um, first of all, you should get on there and start checking it out and seeing what you can create. Um, we always take things like this forward to our clients because one, like I explained earlier, you've got that chance to go viral because the platform are pushing it. It's a new feature. Yeah. They want it to work. Um, and they yeah. want they want people to be successful on there. So get on there and start using it. Uh, two, go to your clients and offer it as a service. We always do that because it kind of makes us look like, you know, we're thought leaders, we're, we, we've seen it, we want to get you on there and we want you to try it out. Um, and, and who doesn't want to be first first to that? So mm -hmm. that would be my my, my two, um, yeah, two things to take away from this is just to get on there and start creating content and learn about it. Like I said, couple of weeks three weeks people might go nah it's not gonna work yeah but it could yeah. it could be another instagram stories that let's be honest yeah. that was a, a hugely successful move wasn't it yeah yeah 100 percent. buy buy cheap sell high you know? yeah yeah <laughs> brilliant <laughs> anything else you want to add bro um not really i did i did make a few notes um but i think yeah i think we're pretty much there i think it's early days let's see what happens um but yeah just yeah. get on there beautiful well if it does fail, we'll have you on again in a couple of weeks and, and, and call you out on it. And say, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And just play. Brilliant, man. Well, listen, thanks. <laughs> thanks as always for taking the time. Really appreciate it. And um, yeah, man, we'll, we'll see you around. No problem. Good to catch up. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Really appreciate the input, bro.